playing with other people all around the world that have this game. From all the corners of the globe, they have this game. There's this one guy I can never get I can never get that I always want, so I'm using the hammer a guy with a hammer. Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and I always get the guy I want. I'm here in Assassin's Creed 3 multiplayer, playing against people from every corner of the globe. We're being taught by Assassin Ninja how everything works in the world. Last time he taught us how spines and kidneys work, and democracy, and stealing things from your little sister. Today we learned about how online multiplayer gaming worked, and... Um, Jumping into a new match here, this is actually a match of Wanted, which is what I wanted to play in the first match. If you remember last time, actually, Assassin Ninja had voted to play Deathmatch, even though everyone else was in a Wanted thing. He kind of ruined it for everyone, so now I'm going to play some Wanted. Just jump right into this, get on my disguise, go out to Riot Girl Ranch, hear some whispers, get ready to shit myself. 30 seconds into the match, I haven't accomplished anything other than change into a creepy looking banker. Um, and I can't say this is the most effective uh, skill layout, but it's different. Oh, did you see that? No, who was that? Oh, she, oh, she was grounded. I thought I saw her grounded there. All right, so hopefully she's not going to see me here discreet. Looks like she's about to uh, waste her kill and get the incognito kill uncontested for 150 points. Of course, new players using throwing knives, it's very important to know that there's a very specific range. The throwing knives allow you to get an uncontested killer stun. It is like approximately 1.9 meters away from the person. So you kind of have to approach really slowly. I like to... Whoa. Or I could just get hit with that bomb. Tripwire bomb. The D can just open me up with his staff. Fucking... Oh, just gross. Here. So that was a Quebecois guy, I'm just going to assume, or CQC, Close Quarters Killer. I don't know what the hell it stands for. I never see QC, I assume the person from Quebec, because they all play QC in their thing, because everyone who's from Quebec loves to tell you. How do you know someone's from Quebec? They'll tell you in French. They will. You don't have to wait. Or you can look at their, um, their license plate in the car. Je me souviens. Je me souviens. I remember. And you'll remember too, because they'll talk about being from Quebec, it's great. Anyway, contract loss. contract loss, I'm just fiddling around here talking about nonsense. Meanwhile, losing all my contracts. And I hear that cough, which means, uh, guess who is my killer? It's Assassin Ninja. Um, so that is one thing to keep in mind, everyone, when you, when in wanted mode, uh, when people are in your voice, you might, you know. Okay, yep, there we go, see Assassin Ninja getting lured, this other guy, also my killer. <laughs> But I'm just going to knife him, punch him in the face, 400 points. And CJM86, who I believe is the level um, 60 prestige person, is now after me. But Assa I'm sorry, is now my target, although Assassin Ninja has just been wiped off the face of the map. No longer my pursuer. Totally safe, totally safe. These guys are like, I feel like I'm, I, I would love to make Assassin Ninja inadvertently famous. Like, I would watch videos of just, you know, Assassin Ninja, Ninja these two brothers. I, I, they sound like they're like 11 and 7. I would just love to just watch videos all day of them playing video games and have them explain the ways of the world to me. And here, there's my target. She already used her smoke bomb, so she is not going to have defense for this. I attempted to use wipe on her so she wouldn't be able to knife me, but I waited way too long. I always underestimate the, the range of uh, wipe, and of course here, I'm on the ground, just long enough to get impaled. Kung Pao, Kung Lao style, or I don't know, I guess, no, Kung, Kung Lao doesn't have a move like that in Mortal Kombat 9. I believe Jade does. Very cool fatality. Been playing some dive kick, uh, and I could throw it on my channel. I'm pretty bad, though. Really don't have much to show anyone. It's, it would basically just be like 30 minutes of me losing 20 games in a row. I'm pretty sure I broke every record for how many games you could lose. And I don't know if he's going to fall for that. That's not CJ. CJ is one of those people in disguise, I think. The guy walking right at me. And he thought I was going to fall for it, so he went for it, the, the naked stun just thinking I'd fall for it. But I'm not that stupid. You should learn this. And all right, time to get to Chase Breaker. All right, Chase Breaker safety. Get up here. Second place, 1,500 points. Can't say it's a great score, but... Is this my killer? Nope. There's my target. All right, that should be easy. Maybe I can even get a grab kill. Come here. No, come on. What do you do? No. Why are you? Why are you getting? I'm like, I'm just jamming the X button. And meanwhile, this Joker shows up. I'm in second place, but I'm like 2,000 points behind. And there goes my body, falling under the force of gravity. Did not get to see gravity yet with Sandra Bullock and George Clooney and the planet Earth. I believe is also starring in that movie. 
Um, would love to see it. Uh, so if you've seen it, I don't want to know what happens or anything like that. Um, just hope it's good. And hopefully this guy gets lured. He does get lured. I think it's a karate chop to the back. Just give him a little shiatsu, you know? A little massage there. Loosen up the muscles. Loosen up the spine a little bit. Then he can donate to someone. Um, let's see here. This guy's going to fall for my decoy. No, he used money bomb. Money bomb is actually useful. Come on. See, I would think that if you use money bomb, yeah, it wouldn't affect an active decoy. But the active decoy is still greedy as fuck. It does not give. It doesn't care that you paid it like a thousand dollars to go run in a random direction. It is greedy. It wants the coins on the ground, and uh, that's all there is to it. I really hope Money Bomb comes back in Assassin's Creed 4 because it's like the worst skill ever. It's like the most pointless skill. I would just love to see it come back. I know people would just rage. Like, why did you guys remake Money Bomb? Why not just put firecrackers? Here, I'm gonna climb. Let's see if they can follow me. He's gonna follow me as soon as he comes up. I'm gonna jump 180 degrees. Get no! Come on! Come on. He didn't even use a real pistol. He just got a kill on me just for being on the wall under me. Like, what do I get out of that? Alright, I guess I'll stick with this. I don't even know if this is a good setup. I'm now 2,000 points behind the guy with Prestige 60. 2,000 points. He's got double my score. And um, for anyone who's taken even introductory level of mathematics, you should know that that's quite the difference. Alright, there's that guy right there. Fuck! I never used the knives early enough. I'm like, I should use the knives. Okay, so CJM here thinks she's going to trick me. She's going to wait here, get a hit until thinks I don't see her. Bam! I got you. I got you. A little black and blue for you. That's what she gets for being cocky. Like, look, you want to underestimate your opponents? That's great. Go underestimate someone who hasn't been playing Assassin's Creed since Brotherhood, who's made 400 fucking videos about this. I'm, like, I'm not trying to say I'm the best in the world. All I'm trying to say is I'm not going to fall for elementary school level shit like that. I mean, now watch, watch me just fall for something worse now. Okay, this guy's in front. I've identified him. An easy kill. He's gonna use, all right, he used a smoke bomb. All right, so now I know he doesn't have smoke bombs, so and now it's time for easy kill. Okay, this is just like, you're, you're, I think there's like a kid's book that's something like, um, you know, Grover's, Grover's Very Bad Day or something like that. Well, wing, this is Wingspan's Very Bad Day, all right? I'm getting shot off of walls. I'm losing my contract to people who didn't even put in the work to identify their targets. Like, I'm doing all the hard work. There, CJM thinks she's about to get a kill. And, um, actually, you know what? That was that was actually kind of like a mistake there, killing her. Because what I should have done is, if I knifed her, that guy probably would have been able to stun her, and then I would have gotten a much better kill. I would have got a grounded, focused, silent kill. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't really thinking. But, you know, I just, I, I, I've had so many things sniped and taken from me recently that I just feel like I absolutely need to do it. He's going to go and stun that guy. I'm going to come here and get a silent kill. Looks like he wasn't even paying attention. He's got nothing in that brain. It's just a noggin full of nothing. I always felt bad for the uh, the straw man, the scarecrow in the Wizard of Oz. Like, okay, so he doesn't have a brain, right? So I guess as a child, even as a child, I was like, Mommy, what does it mean that he doesn't have a brain? Well, he can't think. He's like, well, how how is he talking? He's like, well, he doesn't have a brain, but he can talk. I'm like, oh. What what part of not having... I don't understand how not having a brain is a hindrance. Watch this. CJM's going to try to fucking, again, try to sucker me with something. I'm just going to be like, oh, what, what's going to happen? I'm going around the corner and get smoke bomb. No, you're going to get wiped, and then I'm going to kill you. So, actually, CJM... Like, this is... don't. I feel like I deserve a little respect. Like, can I have a little bit of respect from the higher prestige players? Like, I get it. I get it. You played this game 57 times more than I have. Literally 57 times more. Like, I was going to work, earning money, okay? I was hanging out with my friends, going out to dinner. I was stealing stuff from Radio Shack. Meanwhile, you were playing Assassin's Creed this whole time, but you didn't learn respect. And that is something that needs to be taught. And CJM is... Oh, that's not her. She's on the ground. <sighs> All right. Coasty45. Coasty45, where are you? Okay, doors are closed. They say when God closes a door, he opens a window. But what happens if the reason God closed the door was because there are feral bats outside and opening a window is just going to let the bats come? Another goddamn... I'm, I'm done with climbing walls. Like, who do I think I am? I'm Spider-Man or something like that? I'm not Peter Parker. You know, I'm just going to get my gun. Smoke bomb and gun. Um, and really, I don't even care about the smoke bomb. People always think I switched this because I'm raging and I want smoke bomb. I switched to this because I need the gun. Because I'm tired of people running up on the roofs. I'm tired of people... Okay, hold on a second. Now this time I really got a smoke bomb, though. Stun this guy. All right, Guano, sit down. 
go join the uh, Washington, whatever the hell they're called. All right. What the hell was I talking about? All right, the gun. I want the gun so I can get a uh, variety points. Oh, I'm not that far behind. I'm only like 1,500 points behind now, but there's only 30 seconds. seconds left on the clock. I don't really think I'm going to close 1,500 point gap. I could get a really good gun kill um, and get some kind of cool variety bonus. I could probably rock it up to like 4,500 high, f high, f high 4,000s. All right, here's this guy. He's going to fucking gun chat. Boom. All right, it's only worth 200, but I go up to 13 out of 15 variety. What the hell's going on here? Okay. This guy's gonna drop down. Oh my god. Oh my god. 4,150 points. And stun space. Oh my god. It's a 900 point stun. 900 points. Not fucking bad. Finish second place. Predictably again. Behind the guy. With the prestige. Much respect. CJM86. See if I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose to someone that I deserve to lose to. Someone who played smart. Maybe he disrespected me a couple yeah. times. But he played smart. He had the good tricks. I see all I saw he's going for. And um, tricks may be for kids, but they're apparently also for prestige 60 players. Um, going into Assassin's Creed 4 is going to be fun when everyone is going to suck. Like, there's going to be such a huge divide between people who have played this before and people who are just going into it like, Oh, well, I heard they have multiplayer in Assassin's Creed. Uh, CJM. CJM, man. Look, it's a real honor. I'm going to send this guy a message and uh, let him know what I think. So what is he? Players? Friends? This is really... Why do you have to go into friends, by the way, to go into recent players? Where is he? See? No. No. Yep. Yep. There we go. CJM86. Let this guy know. Give it to me hardcore. Okay. All right. Hey, CJM. GG. Was a pleasure. Uh, it was a... Tick, tick. Pleasure. Losing to you. Okay. I want him to know. Everyone on Wingspan TT from TopTierTactics.com, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll come back next time, and until then, cheers! Loading game session.